Hello, and welcome to my fieldwork observation presentation. For my five day observation, I went to a middle school um, eighth grade class. It was a returning class from last uh, semester's observation. It's a teacher that I really enjoy working with. She is very energetic and she just does so much. Um, she has a variety of classroom management techniques that I found really useful. Um, the first thing she does when students come in, they're obviously rowdy, they're eighth graders. Um, they're really loud, so she counts down um, five, uh, quiet and five, quiet and four. She counts down all the way to zero, and it seems to work um, pretty well. Um, the first thing st thing students do when, as they come into class, they work on a daily uh, routine sketch that she goes over step by step on the Elmo. And uh, in order to for things to go well, she has the sketchbooks ready for them, and they just grab it and can and immediately start their sketch. She also has the sketchbooks color coordinated. So for instance, first period has red, second period their sketchbooks are blue. And she said she did, she does this in order for, the, for them to be easily um, located around the classroom in case they get lost. Another very good thing I saw is that when students are really behind because they were talking or not being on task, they she assigns them intervention. That's like a 30 minute block um, in between lunch um, and fifth period, I believe, where the students just go and work on their projects. So I thought this was really good for them to uh, encourage them to keep up. Uh, as far as projects, um, she does culminate in projects that apply art, th art theory and skills. Um, they learn about various artists and their techniques, their styles, and then they kind of replicate what the artist um, has done. But they, she encourages a lot of creativity. That's she's very strict about that. The students are pushed or encouraged to create their own um, ideas based on the artist's uh, styles and techniques. Um, as I was observing, they were working on a relief metal sculpture, and what they do is they sketch it out first, and then um, they transfer it onto the actual um, metal, and then they press on the metal. So it's I, I got to see a real cool um, process. Lesson delivery and design, um, she uses a lot of Chromebook. Well, they use Chromebooks. They're on one-on-one uh, one on one or one-to-one. One. Um, and so they use Chromebooks. They use a lot of online resources. Um, I, they, they're heavy, they're pretty heavy on brain pop videos and quizzes. The, they were watching, because they were studying uh, color theory, they watched Bill Nye videos on color theory. Um, they use... Um, KWL charts that are prepared in Google Classroom and they're easily shared with the teacher. For assessment, she has a ticket out the door, which I saw it. Um, I saw her um, asking some questions and then the, the students quickly answer before they leave the classroom. Um, also, bring pop quizzes that are real, real easy for them to. Um, share with the teacher. They, the Brain Pop quizzes allows them to go back to the Brain Pop videos and review the information before taking the quiz. And then they can easily share it with their teacher and the teacher just grades it. Uh, for adaptations, um, there are so a few special education students as well as some English learner. What I love about this teacher is that her, when she speaks, she's so clear. She uses clear vocabulary that the st students at that age level understand. She adjusts her, her speech as well. She speaks slowly, and I just think she's amazing. She gives them a lot of scaffolding handouts and oppor opportunity to work with peers. As far as the classroom decor, her classroom is filled with um, 
displays of students' work. They, she has her art standards um, displayed. She has color wheels. She has like five of them. She has resources on the wall, like elements of art. She has like big posters of examples of the elements of art and principles of design. And her seating is like a cluster seating, which is, allows for group interaction. And I really enjoyed observing and I learned a lot and, and I just can't wait to apply everything I learned in her class to my own classroom. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.